morning, Oviedo. I'm Rebecca Campbell. It's September 12th, 2019. Let's get the show started. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Oviedo High School. It's Dr. Daniel. I have a couple of um, events or, that I would like to share with you. The first one being tonight at Haggerty High School is a jersey out for volleyball. We hope to see you there. And then Friday night is a blackout against Colonial Home. We have shirts on sale. The boosters do for $15 in the commons. The third thing I'd like to commend SGA for is what a great homecoming reveal video they made. Caroline, you are the bomb. That was amazing and great to watch. Thank you so much for taking the time to share that with all our students. And then finally, I have something that I'd like to talk to our car riders about in the morning. There are five adults in the front of the school running traffic. Why is that? It's because there are buses coming into our bus loop and we're trying to get the students off the buses each bus contains 60 to 70 students. So we have you unloading after the crosswalk if you come to school after 7 p.m. That way we can unload in the front and then move the next section of cars up. We've been doing this now for a month and again, it takes five of us to do it. Um, this morning, there were several students that still aren't following directions and then when we ask you not to do it, you're arguing, okay? Again, I know you're important, but there are 70 students on the bus that need to get off in order to get to class and not get a hero pass. So it's just not you that we're considering. We're considering everybody on King Street, and that's the reason for it. It is myself, Ms. Dixon, Ms. Maricola, a parent volunteer, and then Officer Baker. We would really appreciate it if you would follow directions, and once again, very simple, exit after the crosswalk. I would really appreciate your help on this. It'll help mornings go much more smoothly. We've been doing this now for a month and every day I'm very hopeful that we'll get better at it. Thank you so much Oviedo and I'm looking forward to the game tonight. Let's head over to reporter Holly Archer who takes a look at this year's volleyball team. Last year, your Oviedo girls volleyball team took home the trophy for the state championship. This year, they have some new faces on the team and a renewed confidence. I think this season we have a lot of talented players. Um, we added a lot of new pieces this year, and I think that we can really make it far this season if we work together as a team and just focus on getting better every single day. Being part of a team that recently just won a state championship, not rather intimidating, but more um, pushing, and it pushes me to learn more from those girls and I'm really excited to be a part of a team that did that. Uh, they really worked for it and earned it. It's something really cool about Oviedo Volleyball Program. The girls have always had a positive mindset and a motivated attitude, but this year they have a new focus. Our theme for this season is writing our story and we're the 46th team in Oviedo Volleyball history, so this season we're really just putting a focus on doing the right things all the time and every day writing our story how we want it to be written and really making an impact on this program and on this school. You know, I, I think with this team, um, we're really working hard to be held accountable. We're really working hard to stay disciplined in everything we've done. Um, we're making sure that we do the right things all the time and do those things to the highest possible level we're capable of doing them. You know, last year was an incredible season. It's one of those seasons where everything, you, you look back and everything is just perfect. Even though we had four losses, um, those four losses I wouldn't trade. Everything was to a T, exactly how I could have dreamed it up and mapped it out and planned it. And after that type of a season, it's tough because I've got a lot of kids that were on that team that, you know, want the same end result and the same um, kind of perfection and rhythm that we got in along the way. Um, but at this point in time, you know, we're working hard to do the best we can every single day. We're figuring out how to play together. We're f figuring out what pushes one another. Um, and I'm really proud of the way they're doing that and staying positive with each other and trying to challenge each other every single day. Talent show auditions for this year's homecoming will be September 18th. The show itself will be during homecoming week on October 1st. Please have one minute of your talent prepared for your audition for your judges, Mrs. McKernan and Ms. DeLong. If you want to sign up or find out more information about the new Lions Esports Club, there will be a meeting on Friday after school in Ms. Krupika's computer lab, room 8214. 
Attention all new and returning Mu Alpha Theta members. All applications need to be turned in with dues by Friday, September 13th. Please see Mrs. Griesmer if you have questions. There will be an ASL meeting today in 13009, Mrs. Garrett's room after school. Do you love history? If so, you should consider joining our History Honor Society, Rho Kappa. There will be a brief meeting for new and returning members in Mrs. Jenkins' room 8027 on Tuesday, September 17th, immediately after school. We will discuss club membership, the application process, and dues, and what students' visions are for Rho Kappa in the upcoming year. Spanish Club is meeting Tuesday, September 17th at 2.30 p.m. in Ms. A. Hinger's room. Hey Oviedo, I'm Riley with your O-Town Sports Update. On Tuesday, boys golf won over Winter Springs 157 to 209. The top scorer for the team was Josh Stewart at two under shooting at 34. Girls golf played two rough matches at Legacy Club at Alcaea Lakes, splitting with a win against Lyman and a loss against Lake Mary. Liz Blank led the team. Girls volleyball won at all three levels against Timber Creek Tuesday night. Freshmen won 2-0. JV 2-1 and Varsity 3-1 with set scores of 25-22, 24-26, 25-18, 25 and 27-25. The team was led by Raven Wroblowski with a career high 17 kills, Lily Gunter with a 33 digs, and Sydney Gonzalez and Stephanie Geber with four blocks. This has been your O-Town Sports Update.
Thanks for tuning in. That's all we have for you today, Oviedo. Have a great Thursday and go Lions.